Hi everybody, in this tutorial I would like to explain about a products monitor. Uh, from the dashboard page you can go here to monitors and one of the most important monitors that you need to set will be the products monitor which is in charge of the stock and price monitoring. As you can see a product monitor is divided by our different suppliers and also has general settings. Now if you have not set a specific settings for each of these suppliers then it will take the uh, settings from these general settings that are here okay but what I would like to show now is the Amazon settings uh, because basically the rest are pretty much the same and have less options but Amazon it's is let's say the most uh, elab elaborated one so uh, when you just joined us, you'll see that this monitor will be uh, not active. You'll be prompt to activate it uh, by a pop-up message. Uh, now the monitor is working and I have a button to stop the monitor. This is how I will just stop it now so you will see, but this is how it will look when you just uh, logged in and you're a new member of AutoDS. So it will require you to click start monitor for it to be active. Now, how do we set it? Uh, we can go down here and click on this pencil icon and now it's open for editing. What can we edit here? Our break even, on, when we work with Amazon, our break even can be either a default one that we choose or we can choose to work with a dynamic break even. If I write 19 here, every time I upload a new item, it will get uh, the break even of 19. If I mark that I want to work with dynamic break-even, I click here, then uh, any item that I will upload will still be getting the 19 I set here, okay? But after an hour from the moment of upload, it will be changed according to the supplier selling it on Amazon. So when the seller is Amazon, uh, it's recommended to use a higher break-even because Amazon charges taxes. And when the seller is not Amazon, meaning it's an item that is fulfilled by Amazon, also known as FBA, then you can use a lower break-even uh, because in 80% of the cases you won't be charged tax. So, so this is uh, something we've added for you, a feature, because it helps you to be more competitive with your pricing. Additional dollar, uh, dollar profit and additional percentage profit. You can choose when on each upload, whether it's a regular upload or a bulk upload or an upload coming directly from a different program that you're using um, there, uh, through us, then you can choose what will be your additional profit. So let's say I want in, on each upload to have an additional $1 profit and an additional 10% profit. Quantity to raise to. What is the quantity that when an item goes back in stock or when you're uploading a new item that you want to have your listing on? So let's say I want to have a quantity of one to all my new listings or listings that go back from being out of stock. Dynamic policy creation. Uh, if I check this option it means that every hour when our scanner runs on Amazon it checks how long it takes for an item to be shipped to arrive to the buyer and according to that it will create a policy on your uh, on your eBay account and will um, connect this listing to that policy so this is a great help if you want to make sure that you're always offering the right policy and that you won't be behind uh, schedule when uploading the tracking number for the, that item that was sold Minimum allowed quantities in stock. What is the minimum uh, quantity in stock, the units in stock that you allow uh, a listing to still stay out of stock, uh, in stock, I'm sorry, uh, according to the information from Amazon. So if Amazon, for example, has five, uh, four units in stock and I only allow, allow five, then when once it has four items, in stock it will put my listing out of stock on eBay so the ch chances of me selling an item that will very soon be run out uh, are lower. Minimum dollar profit per product this only concerns the new listed 
uh, items. This is uh, some kind of form of, uh, of protection for your listings to make sure that you are always profitable. So it sometimes happens that people are changing their break even or changing their dollar profit and uh, then they sell with a loss so this is uh, a way of making sure that you don't lose so if I put for example here uh, a minimum of half uh, half a dollar 50 cent then I know that for each order that I'll upload from this moment for sure I'll have at least 50 cents uh, profit and I won't be uh, losing Prime, whether I want to be only monitoring prime products, uh, prime that will not, uh, products that will not be prime will go out of stock. Maximum shipping time, what is the maximum shipping time? How long does it take the uh, product to sh be shipped to arrive already to your buyer? Uh, and that you should set according to the policy that you offer, of course. Uh, automatic ask you filling, that means that uh, we will be able to take the asking number of each new item that you upload and place it under the ask you filling. It's called custom label on eBay. Um, it has uh, one benefit and one um, and one uh, one advantage and one disadvantage. The one advantage is that it gives you some kind of um, some kind of uh, backup to your listings, uh, but uh, you need to know that we have your listings backed up, so you shouldn't be concerned about that. And the disadvantage is that once you allow, and you check this, you allow automatic SQ filling, um, you're also allowing product research programs, which names I will not mention, but all the common product research uh, softwares that people are using to track other sellers and to find their listings, they are able to do that if you fill in the ask you number, um, the ask you, the asking number on your eBay uh, listings. It's something that uh, supposedly only you can see when you're connected to your account and not the buyers, but these programs have a way of doing that. Uh, we have a separate uh, separate video where we explain about that so we do not recommend to do that and in the future we'll also will be able to allow you to do that uh, by um, basically uh, adding some kind of deciphering method here so that these programs will not be able to find your uh, your product allow add-on items if you check this then it means that add-on items will stay in stock Allow prime pantry items. If you check this, prime pantry items will stay in stock. Allow supplier tables. If you check this, then you allow AutoDS to check supplier table and monitor sellers from the supplier table according to either prime or the cheapest. You can choose here. Uh, and that's it. You'll be able to see that you have it for Walmart, Banggood, and AliExpress. And in the general setting, there's one uh, thing that, uh, uh, two things that are important here and I did not mention is these two. Um, what to do with listings that are not available. Uh, it, this will be the default settings, by the way. Um, to put them out of stock, this is uh, what makes most sense, but there's an option to just alert me, but uh, I don't see any way why would you want to do that. <laughs> and when product is available to raise the quantity okay when it goes back into stock and this listing and untracked listings uh, never check that if you don't know what it's doing it basically will end all the listings that are not tracked so if you're using other monitoring platforms or if you're selling items from home never check this and you'll see that if I want to check this I will get a warning and I'll ask to put this code here to make sure that I actually want this action to happen so do not check that unless we have told you to do so in specific cases um, and that's it uh, you save the changes and you have your products monitor working and set uh, if you have more questions, please check our help center for detailed articles and, gui gui and guides. And you can always address us here at the support chat. 
and we're happy to assist you with any further questions. That's it. See you in the next tutorials.